Are you a free word wall user? If so, you'll want to watch this. So hi, I'm Katie and I help independent online ESL teachers like you go independent, find your own students and teach online. Wordwall is an amazing website for making activities like matching tasks, quizzes and games to practice vocabulary, grammar, etc. Personally, I pay for Wordwall and I think it's totally worth it to make unlimited custom activities and access more activity types. But I know many teachers just dip in and out of the community resources and you don't really need to upgrade yet. However, just a few days ago, Wordwall removed the community search feature for free or logged out users. This makes it really difficult to find the resources you need for your classes. And to be honest, now a free account is kind of useless. But don't fear, I have a workaround to enable you to continue to search for free. So when I'm logged into my paid Wordwall account, I can really easily search in the search bar here on the community tab. So let's type in the search bar. Let's imagine you're teaching with the Abridge Academy curriculum and you want to find resources made by other Abridge Academy teachers. We can just type in the search bar, Abridge Academy, click search, and it's gonna bring up, here it says 634 results for Abridge Academy. Not all of these are relevant, um, but as you scroll down, you'll be able to find some that relate to the lesson you're teaching. However, if you're using a free account, your community tab instead looks something like this. This is also the same for logged out users too. So it doesn't have a search bar, instead it just says examples from our community. Um, so you can't search. And it just has maybe 30 or so examples of random activities that are being created on different subjects by different teachers. But it's highly unlikely you're gonna find something in this small number of activities that relates to the lesson you're about to teach, right? Um, so how can you still search? Don't worry, this is actually really easy to do. All you need to do is go to the URL bar, that's the website address at the top of the page, and it's currently wordwall.net slash community. We're gonna add on the end of that URL, the search term. So it's now gonna be wordwall.net slash community slash the term you're searching for. So let's go with Abridge Academy again. If there's spaces in the search term, just replace a space with a hyphen and you can then search for that. So now we've got wordwall.net slash community slash Abridge hyphen academy and click enter. And now it's going to search for Abridge Academy materials within the Wordwall community. And you see it still says here 634 results. It's bringing up all of the results, even though there was no search bar for us to search in. So that was a really quick video just showing you how even as a free user, you can still search on Wordwall. All you need to do is change the URL to enter your search term. So I hope that helped you. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in another video.